YouTube, what's good, boys? We are back. Round number three. You saw that last though. We got. We just got to keep it going. We got to keep it rolling. Speaking of keeping it going, we are flooding this content. I put shorts out. Tons of videos lately. You guys have been farming. You guys have been killing it. Especially these tournament videos. Try to break you into the mind just a little bit. Let's hop on over as I'm playing Soul Reaper. This guy is definitely a creep. I don't know who this is. I don't know how he's playing anything. Uh, we're going through this game blind as a bat, boys. But, you know, that's what we do best. He's in a little bunch. Got the Aaron Rodgers. Starts off with a little run. My boys stop it pretty easily. Gun bunch. I mean, this is what the meta is, everything like that. You kind of got used to practicing against this uh, and playing against it for the last, my entire life. So, feel good about it. Uh, we're going to have to definitely dial it in. Third and eight. I would rather face bunch than uh, any type of tight or anything, even trips. Or why, uh, why off trips, U trips, everything like that. You see, I got a little yellow zone in the middle of the field here. Man coverage. I'm probably shaded up, so we're not getting too crazy pressured. Beautiful job right there. We get the glitch blitz. If you guys aren't rocking, just contains right against your blitzers and three down front. You can do this in dollar. You can do this in three three five. You can do this in a lot of different defenses. Uh, and just you know, they'll just glitch. You'll see the, all the linemen block the contains and they let the DNs just walk free. Uh, that time the contains is wrapped right around. It just really glitches out the defense or the offensive line. is tough. It's tough right now playing against that stuff. Uh, as we're going to come out here, I believe. First play, pop a little run. Best run of my life. You guys might see it here. We actually go base. We come out in base right here. Clock running down. Normally going to run first play just because the clock's running down. We get a nice block from that puller elite. Alan Fanica is a free puller elite. So if you guys aren't having him, you guys should definitely have him on your team. He's rocking a similar defense. This is kind of the meta defense here. Here I'm going to motion out, try to catch a quick flat pass. Boom, get a couple yards. Wish I would have broke that tackle right there. Big tackle from that Justin Reed car. Only three yards on that, so that's tough. But like I said, we see him playing the same man coverage. Audible around. We're trying to do a little trail route out of here, out of bunch. And we have a beautiful C route. And we catch it on that knockout. That guy's a knockout. Do it a little bit. Got a user catch it. Come back so he doesn't get that knockout as we pop another run here. We're on second and three. Second and three is like we can kind of go down the field here because we can always get this on third down even if we throw an incompletion here. I'm probably looking for Waller right up the seam with an ag catch. One-on-one -on -one with a safety there. That's what I think I'm going to get. It's a little bit of zone. We're still going to Waller. Up top. Bang. Just like that. Look like Sauce Gardner is safety. Like I said, when you get to that second and short, go ahead and try to look to take a shot. We did right there with Waller. Able to pick up 7 nothing. Love to see that right there uh, as he scrambles first play. But like, same thing. We're just trying to keep things in front of us. Uh, we got to worry about the flats a little bit to the right and underneath short to the right. Uh, so that's why I have that yellow zone over there. We still have all man. We're shaded up. He's going to try to motion block. I'm going to take the first read. And we get that medium knockout with Night Train Lane. What I'm rocking this tournament is medium knockouts on my safety, deep knockouts on my outside guys, and Night Train also has medium and deep knockouts. So deep corner routes, any whatever that was. That could have been a deep corner route. It could have been classified as a short. Whatever it was, we had it covered right there. And here we see we got two zones over there on the left side covering up the whole left side. And for somehow he still gets a flat route. So I don't know what my zone did there, but, you know, Listen, you get a first down, you're still close enough, or you're still not close to scoring, so that's a good thing. Here, great defense. We're going to get a nice shift. Fumble, fumble. I would have fumbled that. You would have fumbled that, but, you know, not this guy. This guy's invincible. Well, here we go. Running down to the first quarter. We're almost out of here. Hits another flat route. I got to start putting a hard flat. He's making me respect those flats. End of the first quarter went by pretty quick, boys. End of the first quarter went by pretty quick. And when you, once you start making me respect those flats, I can't blitz as much. And then he hits this underneath pass to Zonka. Got to tackle him. Psh, Zonka. I don't know if this guy has a Dolphins theme team. I don't know. But Zonka was kind of going crazy this game. So once you make me respect the flats, I'm going to put that flat zone in my slot there. And I have a yellow zone. So everything's kind of covered underneath. Good job by Dion all over that. White on rice, boys. And same thing, respect the flats, have a little hook curl in the middle. I got the running back if the running back goes out. That's one thing I, I do a lot, you know, because hopefully he blocks the running back, then I have a free, I can run wherever I want. Goes up top, knockout, ooh, he falls down. What a lucky catch, honestly. 
We got a knockout on Rod right there. Deep knockout doesn't get it done for me. Here we're going to play a little bit of coverage here. Yellow zones, flat zones, and we get... I guess we didn't play that much coverage. I thought I was playing coverage right here. What? No, I guess we had a little bit, of, little bit of heat over there on the right side. And left side. Nice. Good job. Second and goal here. That's always love to get a sack on first down and goal situation because you back them up. Only got two plays because he will settle for a field goal here. Here we have a lot of coverage here. Manned up on the running back. Knockout. The thing that's good against Bunch, man, I'll give you guys a little pro tip here. Um, you can man up the slot if you're running a dollar or anything like that. Say I man up the slot right there, Hayward on the running back. If the running back blocks, that guy will then go and double team Randy Moss. So that's always a, a bonus. So you get like two, you kill two birds with one stone. Here I have a double team by having a cloud flat left. And that was a good dot. And tough because I put so many zones here. As you guys see, I used two guys to guard that side. I got a cloud flat over here. I got the running back. I'm still blitzing. And by doing all this, which I normally don't do, I forgot that lo and behold, there's nobody on Waller. So honestly, I should have put one of these guys in, in some yellow zones or manned up on Waller, but I still try to bring some heat. And I kind of had a brain fart as we do get a little bit of pressure, but I got a brain fart and give up a touchdown. Terrible defense. Just that's that's just a bad play by I'm supposed to be a good smart player, and that's a bad play. It's just you know you could honestly play two men under there, make them kick a field goal. But now we're in a tie game, so that's tough. But you know that's okay. I've been in a tie game before. No big deal. We already got one stop. We're feeling good. We're ready to go. Everyone audible around again. I do like that matchup with Waller, man. He's 6'6". I like having him a tight end. I know that new Taysom Hill is out. I think I'm still going to rock uh, Waller or Ertz just because of the big bodies. Here we get a lot of... We actually get a lot of coverage. He kind of bagged everything. We're going to run out of bounds with Elway right there. Can't take no hit with a quarterback. Three-man rush. So I noticed he's going a lot more coverage. He started the first couple drives by blitzing. Now he's going a lot more coverage, and nobody blocked those middle linebackers. But we're at the two-minute warning, boys. We get the ball to half. These are situations where you would love to double dip the chip. We have a tutty to axe. We lob it up in the air. Get up on and I got to stop lobbing those up. I got to stop. I don't know if I free form it too far, but definitely felt like, well, we did have a step right there. And, and you know, we could have even got away from the knockout. Well, we see him running a lot of pressure now. We actually block everything really well. He has huge coverage up here, but we get the dotty, but our feet don't get in. Man, that's tough. That's tough. Fourth and ten. Uh, he has all three timeouts, meaning so. So if I punt the ball, I'll probably give up a field goal anyway because he has plenty of time to get down in the field goal range. So that's why you go for these because, you know, if you get it, then, you know, you have a, you have an opportunity to go ahead and, uh, take control of the game for the most part. Here we go. Sending a lot of pressure. I'm looking at the abilities. Where does he have a knockout? We're on a motion block, and this is Madden 23. Uh, a defensive end walks right in on a seven-man protection. As you see right here, uh, 73. Joe Thomas blocked nobody. I mean, honestly, he had great coverage. I don't think I would have anywhere to throw the ball, but you got to give me a chance right here, boys. Like, you just got to give me a chance. Would I have had anything here? Maybe A before he gets to this deep blue. Let's deep blue, deep blue. Maybe A right here. Maybe, but that was good defense. I'm not mad, but we did get glitched. So that's tough, man. We get a drop. We can't get our feet on the sideline. We get sacked there. And now he's kind of back to, to, to back on serve where he got ball first. I get the ball at half, but we got to go ahead and, and make it a stop. But Larry Zonka, a 29-yard base? Dude, when do y'all see bases pop for 29 yards? Touchdown, Larry Zonka. Dude, now we're in a sweat. We are sweating, sweating right here. Got to fight back. Man coverage again. Deep blues. Uh, Steve Smith was absolutely blanketed on that route right there. As we try to get rid of the ball, that could have been bad. Elway has to spin to throw the ball away. So, he's going a little more coverage. Deep blues on the outside. Man coverage underneath. He's in the spinner, just like I am for the most part. Uh, here, we're definitely looking for Mike Williams on this corner route, or we're looking C route, or that trail route over to Darren Waller. A bunch of different options here. Three-man rush. And we had a C route. Calvin, boom, feet down, no. Another bad animation on the sideline. Another third and ten. This is getting tough right now. You see, we have Threat Detector can see all the people blitzing. 
probably one of the worst things about the game. I uh, I would definitely, the one ability I would get rid of is that one. We give him the burn of time out here. We're going to audible back to the bunch. Run pretty much the same play. Calvin, and then the deep knockout gets me. So this is tough now. Fourth and ten. I'm down seven. <clears throat> Got to make a play here, man. Nut up or shut up. Once again, I, if I punt here, he has two timeouts. I punt. It's probably to the 45 second mark. I'll probably punt him to his own 30 with a good punt. Uh, you know, so I'm going to go for it, man. I got to get some points here. I was in control of this game, and now we're back sweating. Once again, we see who he's blitzing. We, I mean, we're going to run the same exact setup for the most part. This time, we'll keep that post route. And I throw a pick. So... Things are looking tough, boys. Can't lie. Did I have anything open on this play? I've run the same play over and over and over. Looks like he has a 30-yard cloud over here. Bagging that. Both of these guys are kind of in the same spot. Maybe if I highballed to B, I'd have a better shot right in here. But I got him credit. It's good defense. Bad play by me. Once again, we start. I mean, we're playing pretty bad. All in all. I mean, he's playing pretty decent. We could have got our feet in on the sideline. That's the unfortunate part. We have some big dots down the field that if we get better animations, they're they're big plays. But uh, right now, things are looking tough for the boy. So we're down by seven here. We got to make some plays. Ball pops up. Pick. Ooh, tough. Night Train gets that knockout on Waller. 45 seconds left. He has two timeouts. I, I would say time is a factor, but it's not killer. Pick, and we get the pick right there. That's why you have as many pick artists on the field as you can. And you never stop sending pressure. Because watch this C-Route on the left side. Everybody comes in here. We got one guy here. One guy here. One guy here. All have pick artists. This guy gets fried on the left side. Would have been a touchdown. But with just too much pressure. You can't get rid of the ball. Boom, boom, boom. Pick. Bounce off that guy. Bounce off that guy. At Water with the pick. That was good. Because even if he kicks a field goal there, we're down by 10. That's tough. Here he sends pressure of his own. We're going to pop up. Hit this. Oh, my gosh. My fault. I'm so afraid of the knockouts. I tried to get way too far away and just swerve way too much to get away from the knockouts and cost myself a big play there. But we got to regain because, we, like I said, if he would have kicked the field goal there, we would have been tough. It would have been tough to overcome the 10-point deficit. Here we're looking for, looking for the corner route. We put a streak because he's been putting a lot of deep blues. Got to get those deep blues out of there. That's what we do. Corner route, bang, Mike Williams out of bounds. 31 seconds left in the half. I have the ball. I get the ball at half. Need points here. I have all three timeouts. The run is still an option. I might even try to pop a little inside zone, get closer. But we're just going to try to run a little bench right here. We got X wide open. We go to Waller. Big time user catch inside the 25. We're going to use one of those first timeouts. Now we audible back out to the, to the uh, stack. The stack action looking good, looking great. Once again, we're probably looking for Waller. Don't give Waller a one-on-one -on -one, because I will find that one-on-one -on -one with Waller. Ah, not, not a one-on-one, -on -one, so we throw the ball away. Good job. He didn't give Waller that one-on-one. -on -one. Saw what I was looking for. He puts a deep blue on the right. I put Moss on the out route just to, to if he's just, if, all, if it's all man coverage, you want to get this guy out of here and see a clear one-on-one. -on -one. But he doesn't give me a one-on-one. -on -one. My C route on the left is bagged. Good defense. Oh, what's going to happen here? Here we go. We're going to come out here in this tight play. Try to get a quick snap off. Wham! He's on the D-tackle. Hit the running back out the flat, but of course it bounces off his face. That will be a theme of this tournament. I, you know, I didn't do anything. I just threw it to him. I didn't even pass it. I just threw it. Here we flip our trips, or our tight. Like I said, he's been running coverage. A lot of... A lot of deep blue, deep blue, deep blue man coverage underneath, which is really good defense. And what I want here is to run all the deep blues off with this streak. Take my short and elite Mike Williams, at the time was the best receiver. Get him on the sharp post, which fries man coverage. Hopefully catch a touchdown right by the Ellen Eagles. Also have Waller on the corner route. And in worst case scenario, I got Moss underneath on a slant. <clears throat> That's what I want right here. Let's see what happens. Perfectly done. Beautiful touchdown. Looks like he went all his own right there. You see how this deep blue just clears all this out. Or this wide clears all this out. Slant keeps his user down just a little bit. This guy takes all these zones to the right. This deep blue is not in the play. 
boom, free 99 touchdown. Big play after we could have went down 10 points. We come back and we get that. Uh, <clears throat> no, this was tough. Honestly, this was probably the most depressing thing I've seen all, all week. <coughs> As we tie the game up at half, we get the ball. Uh, you guys have seen the last game, the first game that I lost in winner's bracket and went going to two-man under. So here I'm in three deep. Uh, and left side over here is just Gabe Davis. Three deep. Somehow runs up here and catches this. Caught. Timeout. Field goal. Definitely a tough field goal to give up. Uh, when I had the game tied, I mean, that was big catch by Gabe Davis. But we're in the second half. We're down by three. Got to focus. Put it together. Man coverage again. Like I said, he hasn't been blitzing as much. A little bit. Now we're doing the same thing I tried last time. Just we flipped it. Same exact route combo I scored a touchdown on. Boom. Dottie. Dottie, Dottie, Dottie. Beautiful play. <clears throat> Beautiful execution. Now we're going to get back into our bag of auto blown around. Little base. Get that lead blocker. Pick up. That's a good chunk. That's a good seven. Tight again. We're going to have A. Dump it off. Beautiful Waller. We're cooking with gas right now, boys. A little 0 1 trap. Get a good block. Nice block. Nice read. Baja. Marcus Allen. Beautiful blocks from the boys right here. Just beautiful. Man, we got Joe Thomas ceiling. We got Kelsey going. We got. Mike Williams with a huge block. Calvin over here sealing these guys. Just beautiful by the boys. Mike Williams especially. Kelsey with that, that uh, what's it called, that free nasty streak. Beautiful job by the boys. A run for a touchdown. Things are looking up, but I'm dialed in. Back up four. Got to get a stop and a score and put this game away and move on to the next round. That's how I'm feeling. Flat rod again. Damn, he got cheated that time, too. I swear I put a zone over there. My zones might have been on 30 from before the half. Corner route. Waller all over at night train. Good job. We got a third and 10 right now. He's going to audible to tight. We got a little flat zone. Quick snap. Big play by the boys. Big play. I'm not mad at it. Fourth and five. Um, one thing, look, he's at the 18-yard line. He's not threatening to score. You can't overplay and, you know, shade down and get real aggressive to get the stop right here. You got to kind of just keep playing your same defense. I mean, I know you want it, you're you real thirsty to get off the field and everything, but uh, you got to keep playing because, I mean, you don't want to give up a big play at all. So I'm going to play pretty much the same defense I've been playing. Uh, and corner out. What a fry by Gabe Davis again. I told you guys about the man up. I told you guys about the man up when you blast a running back, he'll get a double team. The same thing happens when we're man, man, right here, right? Safety man slot, outside guy man left. When he motion blocks Randy Moss by taking him out to play, now Rod Woodson and Ty Law will be double teamed on Gabe Davis. Crazy. Like, Gabe Davis can't be a good card. He might be. I don't know. I have Moss and Calvin. Why do I want Gabe Davis? But you'll notice when he motions, we're going to get a straight double team on this wide receiver. We got our glowing night train on this crosser, cross man. He's got an in route coming here. I feel great about this, but that guy literally fries both of these fools. <clears throat> First down. Tough. Tough, right, boy? <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Oh, Bo Jackson looks like Ricky Williams at 34 and, and the Cowboys are in the Dolphins jerseys. Here we go. We're sending a little pressure, and this happens to me as we get burnt by Zonka again. Zonka and Gabe Davis. I don't know if you guys have watched a lot of tournaments, a lot of comp man in the last couple of weeks, but, I mean, getting fried by Zonka and Gabe Davis is, is just something you did not expect to see when you booted up this video. I don't even know if a lot of people are even using those cards. But here they are, Zonka and Gabe Davis. Nice run right there, uh, Marcus Allen. Anytime you can pick up five on a run, that's a good thing. Here we hit that flat route again. Should get a first down, third and inches. Going to run an inside zone and get it. Nice job. We're closing in the fourth quarter. We're down by four, by three again. 
So that's definitely uh, tough, but, you know, we feel like we're cooking on offense. We are cooking. I don't think he has a lot of defense for me. I want to snap this ball. Hopefully I can get a completion and get this to the uh, – and we get cheated again. Get that to the fourth quarter. But it's just – the thing about this is you guys got to see. Dion out here has deep zone knockout. So I got to wait as long as I can to let this streak clear out Dion. This streak will take Dion far, far, far down the field. If I throw it right now, Dion might come back and knock it out. I have plenty of time. There's no pressure. What you want to just wait, let that guy just get him further away from X, and then throw it, and we just get a terrible animation. Obviously, I could have done it earlier, but the earlier I throw that pass, the more likely that knockout is to come back. And I realized all that, that during the play, we just get a bad animation. I mean, the sidelines are actually killing me right now. So we're going to do the same thing and run out. We're, gotta, we gotta, we're just going to flood the right side here. And we get super glitched. <clears throat> That's what I told you guys. Like These contains right now are just OP. I think it's... Yep, the DN runs right around. You see the corner route would have been wide open. So third and 18. It's a tough spot for the boys. Down by three. Closer in the fourth quarter. We're going to double team left. Get a snap. I'm, I'm not really super comfortable with this play right here. And we get hit. That's like... Shh. Fourth and 18, start of the fourth quarter, boys. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're looking tough. Uh, we're going to go back to the play. I scored a touchdown on. This one has been cooking for me. I know it's man coverage. We're on a motion on running back left. Try to block the glitch blitz on the left. Right side doesn't look like he's blitzing. Now, this is what. See how he moved this guy down closer to get the contain edge rush? And this guy's back here. That's what I mean by this side looks like he's blitzing. This side, not so much. Right? So, I got to block this side. If he blitzes this side, I'm probably SOL. Hopefully, my line can hold up. But that's what I'm thinking. So, this play. Uh, I hope I show it again. Here we go. Press. Maybe Calvin can get over this corner route for a first down. Mike Williams. If it's man coverage, he can certainly get 18 yards on a slant. If there's no purple, no yellow, anything over there. So, I'm going to force him that purples, yellows over there. Waller will be open against man here if there's not a yellow zone or a purple on this side of the field. All these guys are options. I talk a lot about how uh, I'll run a play with no options or only two options. I mean, this play, I'm looking left to right. Does Johnson give me a chance to throw this corner out right away? Is there any coverage over here for Mike Williams to run by on a slant? Then is there a yellow zone for Waller? And last, last but not least, Moss on the deeper post that I've hit a couple times this game so far. So... That's my reason. That's how I'm getting down. I, I called it perfectly. We called it perfectly with the block only on this side. I'm saying or he only rushed his left side. So we got great protection with our double team. Great protection at the snap. Moss does not or Calvin does not get bumped out here. I don't know if this was an option for the most part. But here we see we throw the Moss. Boom. Big time catch. I don't know when I switched my I don't know when I switched him to a streak. <clears throat> the reason I did that was because if he puts deep blues, this streak will run it off and Calvin will have a shot at this corner route. So that's where I was looking first. You know, and Calvin see Dion is in a deep blue. So this Y is gonna run off Dion. It's pretty much Calvin versus seven. I guess that's Trayvon Diggs. I don't know. Uh, but I didn't like that that much. A is now running in here. Waller could be a, could be an option, right? But there's a lot of bodies. It's going to be a tough catch. Then I see nobody on Moss. It's just him one-on-one -on -one with McKinney. Dude, no safety middle of the field. Just a deep blue here. Oh, man. Might be a deep blue and a yellow. I'm highballing this. He's too far behind and dives and falls. And, we get a, and he misses that hit, which could have knocked it out. But Moss, huge catch. Give me life right there. That is life. Worked out huge. I mean, I, all in all, can we crib this? Can, ooh, good cut. Ah. But I will tell you, that was a terrible defensive rep by the opponent, and we took advantage. Just bad defense. I've had a couple of bad defensive snaps, and that was a horrendous one. Ooh, that time we were looking for Mike Williams. Didn't get what we wanted. Audible back to the to the stack. When I go to the stack, I look for, I look for Waller right up that seam, one-on-one -on -one again. Hopefully, I get it. I also have bumps over here. He's bumping both sides on the left. 
Yep, Waller, one-on-one. -on -one. Boom! Big time catch. Big time play. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm going for when I call this play. Bang. Big play by Waller. That's why it's hard for me to get Waller off the field. He's 6'6". That is a big body of 6'6". As he hits this uh, you know, little drag route, gets a couple yards here. This is money drive time. This is go get it time. This is when we got to execute on defense. This is when one of these guys got to step up and make a play. Runs a little base right here. And Zonka, Zonka's been killing me, dude. I don't want anything to do with that Zonka card anymore. He's been killing me on the pass game, run game, everything. Uh, just try to keep stuff in front of me. He needs a touchdown here. He can't get away with a field goal, so that's a little relaxing. Uh, my, at the end of the day, my back is up against the wall. We get huge pressure right here. Casey Hayward with the sack, second and 17 now. Closing in a two-minute warning. Once again, we got a hard flat on the left. Take away that quick flat to the tight end. Scream again. Glitch blitzing, glitch blitzing, glitch blitzing. Boys, I don't make the game. I just play the game. Here we go. Everybody lined up. Uh, motion right to left. He's going to motion block again. We're all covered all over that. And I just, oh my goodness. Once I see a motion block, I don't, and I, and look, I have, I had, look at this. Cause I saw him motion block. Now this is another second level thing, right? So he's been motion blocking a couple times. So for me, I look for his icon, right? Right there. Oh, uh, you didn't really see it. See? When he puts his icon on this guy, I know he's going to motion block. And if you remember the last drive, even though I get that double team, Gabe Davis still fried on that corner route. So once I see his icon go on this guy, I'm going to put Dion here in a deep blue for the deep third. Because I know he's going to block this guy. And I don't want Dion to match with him in man covers. So I put him in a deep third instantly. Once I see this icon become a motion, we're going to then put Dion in a deep third. Boom. That way, we're going to get a, a way better double team over here. You see, Gabe Davis has four people on him. So, where's my user going to go? If I have four people on Gabe Davis, where's my user going? To the left. I'm just running like a crackhead, holding Y. And I overrun it. And I actually take out my deep knockout, which might have knocked it out. And we give up a third and 22 because that's why they watch, boys. We do it for the drama. Two-minute warning. Up by four. Soul Reaper pops a little run right here for anything to keep the clock running. It is it is clock time right now. You got to start worrying about it. Audible's the tight tight doubles, actually. A little bit different formation. Tight doubles, tight everything. You got to know the plays out of tight doubles. has a big uh, corner route from the slot receiver on the left. Big sack right there from the boys. Cameron Wake coming around the edge. Third and 11. We got to make a play here, boys. We have got to get off the field here third and 11 clock dude we're under a minute when he snaps this ball once again there's a big corner left corner route from the guy on the left on tight doubles that's what he's going to i go to cover it waller knocked away pick, 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 pick. fourth and 11 for the game good job night train that's what i pay you for fourth and 11 the way he's been playing i'm assuming he's going to go bunch trail motions mike williams in and out i'm assuming that probably puts him on a post route from the slot and motions him back out yep that's exactly what it was we get beautiful blocking and he panics and almost caught that yeah so once you see people do this motion in a, a receiver here this is to get them in a slot position now your hot route master can put them on that sharp post route then he motions him back out to get some space. I see that and like, okay, that's kind of where you want to go with the ball. But same thing on the left side. We actually just get three people on this guy. I take away this pulse route and we just got an angle route coming under here. He panics and just, ah! and he really almost caught this. Like he has the ball right here. Dude, I, I really think if Atwater doesn't come in in that purple zone, he might've caught this pass. He might have caught this pass because he has it right here. He has the ball, and then Atwater just, boom, knocks it out. Almost didn't get it. Now we're in the same situation we were before. Let's just – and now because of that first game, I'm kind of I'm kind of soft. Pause. Then I'm going to just run the ball here and make him use his timeouts. Third and six. Please, it's on dollar. Please, game, let me pop this run for a first down so we can go home. Get the edge. Big blocks from Casper. First down. Tackled in bounds on conservative. G, G's, G, 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 G's. 
That game was tough, boys. I'm going to be real. If the rest of the games are like that, uh, we're in for some doozies. That was a hell game. Uh, listen, first half, I was getting kind of bagged. I was, but if we would have caught some of those passes on the sideline, man, we would have been frying. We would have got out there way quicker, way easier. We had to buck up on defense towards the end there. A uh, little bit of adjustments. Notice when your opponents, uh, what they're doing, little things that I see. Just pick up. I hope you guys are learning from this video at least a little bit. Hope you guys get out there start glitch blitzing people. The more you guys do it, the, the maybe it'll patch it. Like I said, I don't make the game. I don't play the game. I don't like the game this much this year. I'll be honest, it's probably the least I've liked Madden in, in, in my life, really. But still got to grind it. I'm glad you guys are supporting. Let me know how you guys are feeling Madden this year. Are you guys in love with it? Are you guys off it? Let me know. Like I said, get this video to 1,000 likes. We're going to drop the next game as we keep moving on the tournament. And the next game is the next day. And I'll tell you, I use that selfless glitch to get everybody lit up. That way I'm able to pound the ball, double me, everything. It's actually some crazy games coming up, so make sure you guys hit that like button.